Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can add the current date to Notification Center. Now as nice as Notification Center is in iOS 5 on both the iPad and the iPhone, it's not incredibly useful as far as additional functionality goes. So beyond just seeing the basic notifications, you can't do much more with it besides showing the current weather and the stocks. So what I'm going to show you how to do here is to actually add a section with the current date to Notification Center. So I originally saw somebody over on Mac OS X Hints post this little script that lets you do what I'm about to show you do. And it's actually pretty neat. So basically what this does is create an iCloud calendar. And with it you can select a range of dates and it'll repeat a event for each day and therefore show the current date continuously every day in Notification Center. So if we go to the script page here, I'll of course have the download link for the script in the article. And if you scroll down just a little ways here, you can download the script. And it's just a simple zip file. And from here, I can just open it up right in my downloads folder and hit open. So when I open this up, it's going to say this application will create an all-day event for the range you supply. So you can see the current date in the notification center in iOS. And right now, only the current year is supported. So you'll have to run this just once a year, which isn't a huge issue. And what you have to do before you hit OK here is specify the name of the iCloud calendar you want to use. So you have to create this before you continue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Applications folder and open up iCal. And from here we're going to go up to the File menu and select New Calendar. And then you're going to want to hit iCloud. And then here you can name this calendar. So we're going to call this calendar Today Is. Just like that. And now if we go over here, we can see I named it Today Is, and then I can hit OK. And what I can do now is enter the starting date. And of course, this is today, so I can hit OK. And I can do the end date. And of course, since it is December, this is only going to run a few more days before I'll have to do it again. But that's just unfortunate because it is the end of the year, pretty much. So I can hit OK again, and it's going to create the events. And it says it might take a while. But there you go, and there it is. And I can hit OK, and it's all done with. So once you finish, it's going to redirect you to this donation page where you can donate if you so choose. So if we go back into iCal, we can see that for the rest of the month at least, because it is December, it's created Today is Events for Everything. And while it may look like it's a bother to have all these on iCal, of course, you can just go up to the Calendars button and unselect Today is, and you won't see any of those. You don't have to worry about it, and it just kind of sits there very unobtrusively. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto my device and I just want to tweak a couple things to make this the best it can be. So if I go into settings from here and then notifications, I'm going to want to scroll down until I hit the calendar. And in here, you're going to want to make sure it says show and then just one item because if you show more than that, it's going to show you know upcoming events for the next days and it could get a little annoying. And you might also want to turn off badge app icon if you don't really want that there either. Now you can see if I'm in any application such as Safari and I just want to know the current date, I can just pull down Notification Center and right there you can see that it is Tuesday, December 13th, 2011. And there you have it. So there you go, there's how you can add the current date to Notification Center on the iPhone and iPad. And just a side note, it does work best on the iPad because it can tend to get cut off sometimes on the smaller screen on the iPhone unless you're using it in the landscape. So that is just one small downfall, but if you're in Safari or something and you just want to know the date, you're most likely in landscape mode anyways. So as always, if you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.